Nolly Home TV. What happened to you? My daddy beat her up. Oh. oh no. This is really bad. Oh. Nurse Rose, please take the kids to the reception. Okay? And meet me in my office. Okay? Please, ma'am.
Because you've been looking for ages. Oh, your, your face is so old. How is your wife? Well, they are better than me. Oh, beautiful. And uh, where is your your wife and uh, always playful daughters? I don't know. You don't know? How do you mean I don't understand? What is it that you don't understand? I said, I don't know. Is it too hard for you to understand? Simple English. Uh, what is going on? What is it? Is it not about my wife? This is not Amara! Can, can you calm down and talk to me? What has she done? What did Amara do? Tell me. Amara wants to try me. Amara wants to try me. If I give her orders, she disobeys me. She does not adhere to instructions. She talks anyhow to me. Anyway, what I did to her is just very small compared to what I'm going to do to her again when she tries such stupid act. Who been are you? Women. I don't know why women find it so difficult to adhere to simple instructions to avoid unnecessary arguments or issues. Anyway, uh, it's good you brought her back to her senses because women, when you don't handle them like that, they go astray. Yes. She will go astray in her parents' house, not in my house, because I suffered to make the money that I used in paying for her bride price, and I have been maintaining her mother ever since I married her. The next time she tries me, mm. uh, ooh, she won't like it. Who been are you? Avoid your husband doing this to you again. He almost broke your cheekbone. Okay? okay. Nurse Rose. Sir. Uh, the pharmacy has the drugs I prescribed. Yes, we still have it, sir. Okay. Please, you go with her. Okay? Take the drugs as I prescribe. Okay? It will help you to heal your internal injuries that you sustain, okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're welcome. You came to marry her so they can use her to practice boxing, okay? Eh? Uh -huh. Mama, I'm shocked at you. You just shocked me. You came to my house. Instead of you to call your daughter to scold her for the bad things that she's been doing. You are here fighting me. Hey, you. Hey, you. I'm fighting you. I'm not even started fighting you. This is just the beginning. Just watch me fight you. Dear Juliet, where is your mother? She's in her room. Call her for. She knows it. Work on mommy. This is what you've turned my daughter into. Look at my daughter's swollen face. So this is what you've turned her to. You want to kill my daughter for me up here? You know what I'll do to you? I will take my daughter with me back to the village. She's living with me. Until you come back to your senses. Because I'm a man okay? You are mine. If you come back to her senses, you can come back for her. Ashi, who bene you to take my wife out of my house? For what? I married her. I paid her dowry and even paid more. So if my wife will leave my presence, I should say so, not you. How dare you challenge me? In that voila, I'm talking and before me you're challenging me. Look at my daughter. Give me, me channel. Don't mama me again. You challenge me, she does here. Has it got to this in that voila? Hey. You are challenging me, more with patience. Is there anything wrong with you? River Niger. You slapped me. What will you do? 
in my house. Eh? Slap me, she does here. She does here, slap me, mamola. She does here, don't remind me again. Shut up your mouth. She does here, mamola, slap me. If not that you are my mother-in-law and a mother to me, what I would have done to you now, you will forever remember it. And this will be the last time that you will repeat this again. The next time, iterally, Heliaka, Mom, oh! Mama, I will reboot. She does it. I am waiting for you to slap me. Okay, my lady, wife beater, speak me, let me see you. She does it. Mom, all lie, slap me. Can you feel that, check? Also, the violent man who beats his wife and the mother of his children. Honestly, I don't know. I am so confused. It's as if I don't know who he is anymore. Does he beat me at any slight provocation? He should understand that women will always be women. It's not everything the woman says that you take to heart. Not to see. These days, he doesn't overlook any mistake that I make. He must beat me for it. Jesus Christ. Tell me exactly what happened. Why did he destroy your face like this? Mommy, it was just a little misunderstanding. Oh, Judy, go and tell your daddy that he's still in the room. Yes, ma'am. Hello, um, please, this is his wife. Can you call him back later, maybe in 30 minutes' time? My phone is been ringing. Oh, yes. 
Did you pick it? Yes, I I picked the call and I told the person to call me back later. Why did you pick my call? As what? No, 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 no. Why did you pick my call? As my secretary or what? How many times have I warned you not to go close to my phone? No, no, you have the mind, you have the audacity, the effrontery, the temerity. You, you have the mind to pick my call. Now, what do you know that you would tell the person? Do you know if it's a call that I've been avoiding to pick? I, it, it was ringing and ringing. Oh. Uh, so I just told the person that you were busy. I was busy. Was I busy? You have even lied. Two offense. You. How many times have I warned you not to pick my call? Oh, 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 oh. Because you saw a guest number. You want to confirm if the girl is my girlfriend. Abby? No, now that's why you will pick my call. No. Come. Have I picked your call before? Your call that is business center. Have I picked your call before? I'm sorry. You see, you know, and you know you like disobeying me. Because you don't have respect. I, I did not mean No, you want to paint me black, Abby? No, I, I just wanted to, to tell the person to call back. I didn't mean to. Are you mad? Don't say Are you mad? Don't say Don't say Don't say that was exactly what happened. Just that? This is not normal. Tell me that I did something wrong. Tell me I did something wrong. Maybe it will help me bear this pain knowing that I got what I deserved. No. You did nothing wrong, my dear. Absolutely nothing wrong. This could be a thing of transfer of aggression. Probably somebody made him angry. And he came back and vented the anger on you, which is not normal. It is not good. You are not a punching bag. You can't be. Come with me. Come. I didn't want to say this to the hearing of the children. I think you should go home with me until he comes back to his senses. Listen, let me tell you. If he's tired of this marriage, let him just say so. We will give him back his bride price. Mommy, he hasn't gotten to that. Who will he get to that? By the time you're dead? <clears throat> Mommy, he will not kill me. He will not. He's my husband. Besides, I cannot run away from my home. I can't leave my home. Okay. I understand the way you feel about this whole thing, but... I will give you time to think about it and change your mind. Okay? There's nothing to think about. I will not leave my home. Mommy, this is marriage. And marriage is for better for worse. That was what you taught me. <laughs> and if I leave my marriage, what will I be teaching my children? If he beats you to death, where will you be to teach them anything? And you put it there, what is wrong with you? I've heard you. Good night, mom. You have no answer to my question. What a bonya!
But you barely know me. How can you be saying all these things to me? You just see me for the first time today. Listen, I know. Right? That is not important. The most important thing here is I like you so much and I want us to be together. Why don't you take your call? Oh, but it's my secretary. I will call her later. This is more important. Anyway, see, just um, give me a chance to uh, to uh, to be nice to you. I just want us to be very close. See, honestly, eh? you will enjoy me. I promise you that. Trust me. Hmm? Anyway, I like your hair. Thank you. So, what's this one called? Sorry. Bone straight for You say? <laughs> Bone straight for ah. <laughs> ah. Her teacher already explained everything to me. That was why I rushed down here as quickly as I can. I also want to ask for your permission so I can take her home. School will be closing in about an hour time, but sure, I can allow you to take her home. Thank you, ma'am. No, hold on. Before you take her home, I would like to understand the root of what happened to your daughter today. Obviously, it looks as if she's been exposed to domestic violence. Mrs. Dossier, does your husband abuse you physically? in the presence of your children. No. no, my husband does not abuse me. So, why is your face like that? Why is it swollen? Oh, I, I, I had an accident. Mommy, why are you lying? You said you should not lie. Why are you not lying? Ma, it's my dad that is beating her. <sighs> Mrs. Dossier, I understand that you're trying to protect your husband, which is not a bad thing. But you and your husband are exposing your little girls to domestic violence, which is affecting her psychologically and in turn will affect her academics and we will not take it lightly with you, her parents. We won't. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. It shouldn't happen again. It shouldn't. Well, I would like to see you and your husband tomorrow. Okay? You can take her home. Thank you. the implication of what you said. I said the truth. Why did you lie? Yeah, good evening, honey. How you doing? Fine. Baby, how are you? Are you okay? What's wrong with you? Leave me alone. Stop touching me. Why? What has daddy done to you? You know my daddy. Leave here. Why did you say that? Just go. Ah, Julie, why do you say such a thing? Why 
do you talk to daddy like that? Every time daddy will be beating mommy. Oh no. That's disrespect. Don't do it again. Okay? Okay. Can you imagine what just happened now? No, no. Can you just imagine what happened now? She refused to greet me. And when I went further to inquire, she said, Don't come near me. What nonsense is that? It's good you have seen things for yourself. You caused it. So I don't know why you're complaining. I caused it? How? No, no, no. What did I cause? Tell me now. How did I cause it? I want to know now. Oh. It's your plan, eh? Eh? No, no, no. How did I cause it? What did I cause? I ask you again. What is the meaning of what you just said? Eh? Nothing. Nothing. I'm asking you, you're telling me nothing. What is nothing? Eh? Nothing. Nothing. Hey, listen, <laughs> eh? don't make me beat the living day out of you. Oh, yeah, talk! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Kiluje. <laughs> listen, if you don't take time, I will cut off your tongue. Talk down! Mbwa Anma, no? The headmistress said. She wants to have a meeting with us tomorrow. For what? I, I don't know. But I think it has to do with what happened to Julie today. So, what's her business? Has she finished teaching the students to now meddle in my family affair? Have you seen it now? Have you seen it, your stubbornness? When I am trying to train you to come out like a responsible woman, but no! Anyway, until tomorrow comes. What happened? What happened? It's the same thing. She had a nightmare. It's daddy. I don't like daddy again. Even when I'm sleeping, I see him beating mommy. Um, sweet listen. Honey, eh? It's just a nightmare, okay? You'll be fine. you just be fine, okay? Leave me alone. Listen, young woman. It's obvious that you have lost your sense of respect. I've been trying to pet you, but it's as if you're playing someone's script. Listen, eh? You should actually be careful. Hmm? 
I will not tolerate this nonsense again. Do you understand? Be careful. Be warned. Can I pass, please? Mm. It's dangerous, you have to retreat. Face your family, you have to retreat. Face your family, oh. No family is the best, no family is perfect. Okay, for the success or failure of our PPS. Um, madam, sorry, honestly, I don't understand where this is getting to. I don't know where you're heading at. Okay, Mr. Dozier, you have been abusing your wife physically in the presence of your children. That even your little daughter dreams about it in school. Madam, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Please, who told you that I've been physically abusing my wife? Who said that? Your little daughter, Julie, did. And your wife also confirmed it. Eh? Well, like you said earlier, hmm? it is not in your poor view and it is not the school's business to interfere in my private home affairs, right? Good. I advise, please, let it not be your business. Don't interfere because it is not actually your business. Well, if uh, this is uh, why you called me here, I think I should be uh, running along because uh, I'm late. Here in this school, we are not just concerned about the children's academics. We are also interested in ensuring that they are psychologically okay. Mr. Dozier, you need to desist from hitting your wife in the presence of your children. You need to desist from it. If we keep on seeing the negative impact on your children, you won't like the action the school will take on you. You won't like it. I have heard you now. Can I go now? You're free to go. decided to stay home today and have fun with his wife. 
out of the way. No compromising. She's a precious woman. A woman with a good heart. Please um, come to the office. The next time I told you to do something and you disobey me, you will get it hotter than this. Next time, next time you learn how to talk to your husband. Whenever an instruction is given by your husband, you are dead to you. Damn you! Naya, eh? Nga kugiri vanaita the next time. Idiot. Get out of my sight. Nonsense. Guy, what? What is it? Why are you forming as if you, you killed a lion? Listen, listen, listen. Bernard, I am not in the mood for your jokes. In and there now. Who annoyed you? I have been calling you and you refuse to take your call. Gabby, you know, nah, where did you... Ah, what is it now? Can't I stay in peace in this office? Okay, if you don't want me to stay here in this office, I will leave so that you will do all the job. What is it now? I, I, I'm talking to Whoa, I said leave me alone! What is it? Okay then! I should be asking you, 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 you. Are you sure you don't want me to stay in Sprinkles all over your body, and when they are there, that means something is wrong. What happened? Please let James go home. He can't just go home like that. School isn't dismissed yet. Let's just turn to get. Let's turn to get. Let's get to allow us. Excuse me, to get. Excuse me, to get. Yes, Kili, what is it? Please come, my sister and I go home. Go home? No, you can't go home. Why do you want to go home? I have a bad feeling that something is wrong. Again? Julie, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong at home. You can't go home now. Please, Auntie Kate, I have a feeling something is wrong. No, 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 Julie. You can't go home. Just sit down, sit quiet, or better still take a nap, okay? Truly, Auntie Kate is right. You can't just go home. Let's go home. I want to go home now. She was pregnant. She was? Oh no, 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 my God. She lost the baby. And she lost so much blood. So, so much that she needs a blood transfusion to regain. And then, go ahead and give her the blood she needs. No, we don't have a blood match in our blood bank. So what are we going to do? Okay, she can take from mine. No. You have to call the husband immediately. He's a universal blood donor. What is wrong with this guy? What is wrong with this guy? Why can't he just take calls and know why everyone is calling him? What's tossing this mean and wicked? I think he knows what he did. That's why he doesn't want to think of it. Ma, these are Mr. and Mrs. Walter's friends, okay? They said that Mrs. Dozi was involved in a hospital emergency that requires a blood transfusion. 
So they came here to collect Juliet and Julie for the doctor to check them and see if they could donate blood for their mother. Good day. Good yeah, day. good day, good day. What sort of news is this? What happened to her? Um, her husband beat her up. Oh, well, I'm so sorry, but I cannot release them because I do not know you. Why? Why? I don't know the both of you. Sorry, madam. She just introduced us to you as friends to the couple. Oh. Yes. Well, for security reasons, I will have to confirm with the children or with one of the children. Okay. Well, no problem. You can go ahead with your confirmation. Hmm. Kate, ma'am, go and fetch me one of the kids now. Excuse me. Boy, sit down. I'm sorry. Sit down. Sit down. I'm sorry. Julie, do you know these people? Yes, ma'am. Who are they? This is Uncle Bernard, my daddy's friend. Okay. And this is Aunt Susan, my mommy's friend. It's fine. You can go back to your class now. So, are we cleared now? Yes, we are. But I won't allow you to take these children because this could be a case of kidnap and the school will be held responsible for it. Uh, listen, madam, we are not here for jokes, all right? What other proof do you need to know that these children are about to lose their mother if nothing is done as fast as possible? I won't allow you to take these children out of the school premises until I hear either from your father or your mother, okay? Gosh. Their mother is unconscious in the hospital. And we cannot reach their father. Well, I'm sorry. Kate. Ma'am. Make sure none of our pupils leave the school premises. You are too sweet. Something is driving my body. <laughs> Let me see. Eh? Let's go to somewhere very calm and private and relax. Since it's still not going to pick I have sent him a message already. I'm just calling him to see if he can pick it. Okay. Meanwhile, don't you think we, we should see that headmistress? There should be a way out. Something has to be done over there now, okay? I think so. Yes. Okay, let's just try it. I tried reaching Mr. Dozier countless times, but he's not taking his calls. I guess he's busy wherever he is and doesn't know his wife is in great danger. Listen, if nothing is done now, that woman will die. Please. Let's not make this thing look like I'm the devil here, okay? I'm simply protecting the school and making sure that the kids kept in the school are safe. 
Um, madam. Yes. We understand your position perfectly. Yes, you. What you're doing is, whatever the parent who's kept us cleaning this school expected to do. But please, hmm. let us not lose a soul. Let us not lose a life trying to live by the books. Please. Look, I definitely wouldn't want Mrs. Gosier dead. I wouldn't. But. I don't know what to do. I don't. Oh, okay, 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 fine, fine. Let's let's do it this way, okay? So, 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 why don't you send one of your staff to come with us? Hmm. By doing so, you will be convinced that we are not kidnapping the kids. Exactly. Mm. Now that is a very good idea. It is, dear. But I won't send anyone. I will come with you myself. Fine, fine. Then let, let, let's That's go. fine. In the office. Oh, beautiful. I'm on my way to your office right now. Uh, there is a case I need you to defend me. Or I'm coming to your office that way. Um, what is going on? Officer, here is the monster. Sorry, I don't understand. What is going on? Is that are you Dozier Water? Exactly, I'm Dozier Water. Mr. Dozier Water, you are under arrest. Under arrest for what? For physical assault on your wife, Mrs. Amara Water, that resulted to loss of life. Sorry. A loss of life? Yes. And you have every right to remain silent. For whatever you say or do will be used against you in court of law. What happened to my wife? Is she okay? What? Oh, you are advised to remain silent. Okay, oh, can, can I, I move can at least seven? Mr. Move. Man, move it! Please move! move. Uh, please, you will do that in the police station. Move! Okay. move. God gave it to you. Can someone please call my husband? Like I don't understand why he hasn't called. And he didn't even visit me since yesterday. Hmm? Um, your husband is in police custody. How? What for? I, I got him arrested for almost killing you and killing the baby you were carrying. How dare you? Give you the right to arrest my husband. How dare you arrest my husband without my consent? Did I ask you to fight for me? Did I? Amara, you don't have to ask me to. Someone had to do something so that he will know that he cannot just do anything to you and get away with it, as usual. Thank you very much for your concern. But you took things too far this time and I will not accept it. What do you mean by that? No matter what, he is my husband. And I want him out of that cell. I want him out of the police station. I, I, I actually told her. I, I told her but she, she never listened. Why will I listen to you? Tell me, why would I listen? Amara, do you know that if the children's headmistress isn't a universal donor and donated blood to you, you would have been long gone. I mean, you would have been dead. Susan, don't even try to justify what you did. What you did is pure wickedness. Yes, I know all that. But I still want my husband out of that police station. 
don't know what she told you. But she clearly misunderstood what happened. My husband did not do anything to me. I, I want him out of the police station immediately. Please. Oh. Alright, madam. Um, I'll take my leave now. We'll get back to you. Please. Thank I you. Want him out. Thank you very much. Oh. Don't. I Happen. You will go inside and pack all your belongings. We are leaving this house now. Where are the children? I am not going anywhere. Rather, you're the one that should leave my house now. Did I hear you right? Yes! You heard me right. You heard me right. I want you to leave. I want you to go back to your husband's house. Leave me alone. I am tired of you coming here uninvited and telling me what to do in my own home. Ha! Mommy, do you realize that I am married legally and that I love my husband? Yes, I know he has his flaws. Said I do to him. So, if God wants him to beat me to death, so be it. It simply means that is how God wants me to die. That is how I am destined to leave this world. Leave me alone, I'll get him on me. Just go. Go. Leave. Ha! Huh. I made myself clear that I will not leave my home. I will not do it. Before daddy died, he had so many flaws, so many of them. You never left him. You stayed with him. Ipiakawa. And you think I will leave my husband? I will not do it. I will not leave him. Period. Your father never laid a finger on you. But he did things that were worse. Things that hurt as bad as being beaten. Oh, you think I didn't know about them? But you never left. Just leave me alone. Mommy, please. This is becoming too much. Just allow me. Allow me to enjoy my marriage. Please, just go! I've always known you to be a very stubborn child. But I think this is the height of it. Our people say that a stubborn fly follows the corpse inside the grave. I don't know what this guy has done to you. I don't even know the kind of charm he's using on you. But let me tell you one thing. Whatever charm that is, I am going to break it today. You will go inside now and pack all your belongings because you're living with me, whether you like it or not. You need now, buddy. Good morning, Mr. Dozier. How are you? You look so tired. What is it? Hello, love. How are you doing? Wow. That sounds so nice. Just more like it. Okay, do you know what? I'm not doing much at the office right now. Do you mind if I come over? What do you say to that? Alright, now I'll see you in a gym. 
Can where are you going to? Okay. I was going to ask you. Are you cheating on your wife? None of your business. Better. said that my kidney has failed. What? Oh my god. I um, <laughs> Okay, so what are you going to do now? I need a kidney transplant immediately or I will die. I need a donor. Urgently. I know that uh, it might be a difficult thing for you to do. I know it's a difficult uh, favor that I want to ask of you now. Please, honey, can you donate one of your kidneys for me? How can you say a thing like that? I don't want to die. No. I cannot give one of my kidneys. No, you won't die. The doctors are professionals. They have assured that You can live with one kidney. So, you're not going to die. Please, I need your help. Help me. Do you want me to die? Please, give me one of your kidneys. God forbid. I am not going to give you one of my kidneys. You can tell your wife to give you one of hers. Yes. After all, you're married. Marriage is for better, for worse. Abba, I understand your anger. I need you to reconsider. He doesn't have much time. Dr. Eric said he has just one week. Well, I pity him. But Dozier needs to get a donor for himself because, as for me, it is a no no. It can't be any kidney, Amara. No, what we want here is a healthy kidney. And the doctor said yours will be suitable. I pity you. I really pity you. Not taking a 50 50 chance on a man who has always treated me like an animal instead of a wife. I will not do it. I don't want to die. I don't want to die and leave my, 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 my girls with him so that he can mistreat them. After all, he has always said they are useless. So please, don't waste your energy and don't waste your time because I will never change my mind. Never. Forgive him. I'm helping. Thank you. You are kids. You don't know what I need to do. It's one of your kidneys that daddy needs. One of my two kidneys. And I might die giving it to him. Oh, do you want your mommy to die? No. God forbid. Nothing like that will happen. But, me, please. Help daddy. So I will not die. Me, please. I can't. 
Mommy, you know that daddy is wicked, but please find it in your heart to forgive him so that he will stop saying that we are useless and girl child are useless. Please, mommy, please. Mommy, please, help him. Don't let him die. Mommy, please. Please, mommy. Mommy, please help, help me. Please. I'm sorry, Dozie. We've tried all our possible best to make her change her mind, but she bluntly refused. All effort has been in vain. It's okay, Doctor. It's fine. My wife is a good woman with a heart of gold. If she has decided to turn her back on me now. It's not her fault. I caused it. She's not to be blamed. Third dog. Yes. Please. Tell me the truth. How much longer do I have to live before I die? So, I think in a few days time. Just in a few days. I accept my fate. I just, I just wish a priest to visit me so that I can, I can reconcile with my God before I die. I just need the priest. Okay, it's okay. I will arrange for that. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. I will do it. I will do it not because you deserve it. Because of God and our girls, those same girls you called useless were the ones begging, begging for you to leave. Please, I need to hurry now and start making arrangements for surgery, okay? We don't have much time. So how is my wife faring? Your wife is doing not too fine. She's recovering so slowly. But she'll be okay in a short while. But Doc, why is her recovery so slow? You know, it takes longer for a donor to recover than a receiver. Mm. But very soon, she'll be fine. No, no, please, can I see her? Ah, no, no, no. Sorry, I didn't tell you. She was transferred to our head hospital for proper recovery. But once you are okay, you can see her. Okay, that will be fine. Um, Doc, when am I going to be discharged? Um, maybe tomorrow or next. That's good to hear. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you so much too. You just tried to be fine. Okay? don't know how to tell you this. I have bad news for you. Bad news, doctor. 
I lied to you about transferring your wife to our head hospital for recovery. Don't. What exactly are you talking about? I don't know. What are you talking about? We lost her two days after the surgery. She couldn't survive it. Who died? No, Doctor, you can't say that. Doctor, can say that to you. Who died? You promised me. You promised me that everything is going to be okay. I did not promise. I told you too that it's a 50-50 chance. After we took her kidney and gave to you, she couldn't survive it. We lost her. Don't kill mommy. Hey. Don't kill mommy. No, Jesus. honey. Hey. No, I did not kill mommy. At all. I warned her. No. We're going to kill her. I told Amara. She didn't listen to me. <laughs> there was nothing I didn't tell her. She didn't listen to me. No, 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 Resort because the only thing that legs do is to match the floor, Mama. I am already on the floor. Mama, please forgive me. Forgive me. Biko, Mama, forgive me. Biko, I have changed. I am a repentant son-in-law. I'm a repentant person. Please find it to your heart to forgive me. Please. Please. Jesus, of what use is your being a changed person? I ask you again. Of what use When my daughter Barra is no more, <laughs> you have succeeded in killing her. That's what you've always wanted. You couldn't kill her with your bare hands. You couldn't. You tried. You couldn't. You now killed my daughter, Chidozie. You killed my daughter by taking her kidney. You killed Amara by taking her kidney. One thing I will assure you of is this. It shall never be well with you. You see? It won't be well with you. For killing my daughter. She does not mind attacking her man.
children Juliet and Julie please you are my last hope your daddy is kneeling before you asking you in your gentle, innocent heart to forgive me, your daddy. You know, your daddy still loves you. Please. Please. Please forgive me. So you have been a foolish person. Being a foolish person. Mm. Look at what your foolishness has caused. My Amara. that I don't have you anymore. <sighs> what have I done to myself? Dozi, what have you done to yourself? The jewel. Namara was an angel. Namara, please come back to me. Come. I tell you the truth. Now, in You are irreplaceable. No one can take your position. I don't think, I don't think I can, I don't think I can find a woman like you. You were a jewel. Yeah.
are you ones? I want to talk to both of you. What do you want to talk to us about? Um, please, uh, you can sh open the door. I, it's, uh, it's important what I want to talk to you about. No, we don't want to talk to you. Please, my darling. Please, it, it's important we, 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 we talk. Please. No, please just go away. Everyone has deserted me. Even my children have asked forgiveness and no one wants to forgive me. Why is it that they are not saving my heart? God, I know you are a just man. I know you do not pass judgment like men. And I also know that you will see through my heart to know that I have genuinely repented. Just Come on, 
Why are you sounding as sick for a quarrel? Calm down and talk to me. Well, I... I am sorry for distracting you, okay? I will like us to see less as a day. There is something I'd like us to talk about. Okay. I will get back to you when I'm through with what I'm doing. All right, I'll be expecting your call. I am sorry for what happened. Eh? Please forgive me. I don't know what came over me. I don't know, maybe I was scared at that moment. That's why I was not thinking. Eh? Please forgive me, I'm sorry. Eh? No. Listen to me. As you can see, I am still alive. So, what do you want? I want us to come back together. Let me show you that I love you so much and that I cannot live without you. But you know I love you so much and I've really missed you. Eh? Come, I want to show you, you know, how to. You know, I have missed you, please. Forgive me now, I'm sorry. Hmm? Listen, and listen very good. Whatever it is that you think we had, it is in the past. I don't want you to call my number again. Anyway, you will never even find the phone on. Do you understand? I don't need to warn you not to call this number again. Because it will not be on for you to call. Chinofe! Chinofe, no! 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 Please, please, don't. You say don't. Please. No. Please. Just say stop. Let me be. No. I want to take my life. I want to end it all. All of you have turned your backs on me. What is the essence of living? There's nothing to live for. Your, your mommy died. Your beautiful wife. Oh, because of my fault, I caused it. What was the essence of living? Let me just take my life. Let me just take my life. She sacrificed her life to give me my own life. And yet, my life has become useless. Let me just go and join her. Let me just go. Let me just go. Daddy, it's okay. You are forgiving you a long time ago. We just want to know if you have truly changed or you are just pretending. And we just wanted to know if you are a changed man. But now we know that we love you. Yes, Daddy, we love you. <laughs> Forgive you, Isam. But I've forgiven you. I wouldn't want to lose you. 
just like I lost my daughter now. It's okay. Thank you for forgiving me. Oh. Thank you. I'm so sorry for, <laughs> for telling you guys that you are useless. Listen, you are not useless. In fact, you are the most important thing in my life. You are my treasure. I value you. Can you imagine? A girl child is, is golden. It's a treasure. Your mother sacrificed her life for me to live. What kind of sacrifice is bigger than that? Yeah, mother.